Hey everyone, John Hartley. No mail again today. Um, if you watch my videos, that you, you know that my hobby is coin collecting. Um, I stack silver also, but that's uh, for investment purposes or as uh, Sal says, um, maintaining your wealth. Either way, I stack silver, but I started out primarily as a coin collector, um, but one of my other hobbies is uh, is rock music. Uh, I don't play, I don't sing. I do sing, I just don't sing very well. Um, and uh, other than the Beatles, one of my uh, favorite um bands is Queen. <clears throat> I think Freddie Mercury was uh, a genius and uh, as he said one time he he's not going to be a superstar he's going to be a legend. Well that in my opinion has turned out to be true. Well I just watched a video on YouTube about Brian May, Queen's guitarist and he's argumentally one of the best rock guitarists there is. And um, I found out something interesting. They were talking about his guitars. It was an interview by some company called PG, which had their symbol is in the shape of a guitar pick. And they were interviewing um, Brian May's, um, I won't call him a roadie. He's a... Uh, He's the guy that takes care of the guitars, setting up the amps, and um, uh, tuning the guitars and all that. And Brian May's favorite guitar is, uh, I think they call it Classic Red or Old Red. Either way, I'll put the uh, description or the link to the video down below. I thought it was interesting. And he made his that guitar um, when he was like 16, 17. And he still plays it today, his favorite guitar. He plays it 95% of a show. He has a few other guitars he plays for when he needs different effects for different songs. Um, like this thing, crazy little thing called Love starts out as an acoustic guitar. He's got an electric guitar that's hollow like an acoustic and with a flip of a switch, it goes from that acoustic guitar at the beginning of the song to electric. But what I found uh, interesting that connects it to us in the uh, numismatic world is that instead of using a regular plastic pick, he uses a sixpence, which I thought was fascinating. And um, on his guitar strap, he had this little, uh, you'll see it. Um, it's about a 30 minute video, but it's worth watching um, if you like Queen or, or classic rock. Um, he has this little slit in his guitar strap that he s sticks sixpence in. And uh, he says you know, they're very rigid, so if he held them tightly, um, they would break guitar strings, so he holds them loosely. And uh, that's what gives him the flexibil flexibility to use a coin. And um says he drops them all the time, but he's got, he says he's got thousands of them. So, and, um, But one thing that was interesting in... Uh, in the video was that uh, I guess he might use one of these six pence on a special occasion. In the video, he says, uh, he, and I think he's joking, because um, every six pence they show attached to his guitar strap, or when it was the personal interview with Brian May uh, backstage, he's holding, he's always holding. Um, one of these 
Queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth uh, sixpence, which we all know are, uh, are copper nickel. And uh, he says, he said, the, the ones from pre-65 sound better. You know, they cheapened them up after 65. He said, in 1947 was my favorite year. Um, well, he, he got it wrong. Uh, 1946 and back, they are 50% silver, 500 silver. And um, they had not made a coin silver, or excuse me, sterling silver, since uh, 1920, yeah, 1920, um, and uh, King George V was on those coins, and every coin he, he, that was shown in the video was the uh, 1953 or up, because you could tell by the design they showed it up close, and Elizabeth in her first portrait. Um, so the coins had to be from 53 to uh, 1970 are the ones he's using. But um, I thought it was unusual. He says he can use it flat like a pick or because it's a serrated edge. Um, he can use it sideways to get another special effect with it and uh so i thought i'd make a video about it it's um it was interesting and you know i i i just was flipping through i i got a new echo dot one of those things you call her alexa and she'll do anything you want and i was messing around with it to, today when i was getting it set up and i said alexa play me any classic rock song and um, find me somebody to love popped up queen so I was flipping through you uh, YouTube and uh, looking at some stuff with queen and that's when I saw the interview with Brian May on his guitars so uh, I thought I'd tell you about it um, Thursday night which is the start of my weekend which means there's a little uh Kentucky bourbon and Diet Coke going on. Hold on a second. <sighs> yeah. I was teasing uh, Big Glory. I wasn't really teasing him. I was just having a little fun um, about when he he does his Friday night videos. He ha he uh, usually has a beer, a good Scottish ale. Uh, with him which makes me jealous so two videos ago I had um, a South Carolina place called Palmetto Brewery they got a beer called UG Street spelled H-U-G-E-R tell me how that's UG uh, but that's South Carolina for you because UG Street's a street in Charleston South Carolina and in Columbia South Carolina and they're both pronounced UG and both spelled huger um, so um, the next video I did uh, a couple of nights ago I had a class of uh, Merlot and tonight I have a bourbon and coke so if nothing else I'm flexible with my spirits once again Ah, cheers to uh, Ian. You get to see this tomorrow when you wake up. Anyway, I know a lot of you my age uh, like 60s, 70s, and sometimes 80s rock and roll. And uh, all of us here like uh, numismatics and precious metals so I thought that I would show you the connection I found uh, he, was, he was joking a little bit too he uh, you know they were it was an interview done uh, on stage prior to a concert in the states and he said you know a dime 
will work just about as well. I think he's kind of mocking us over here in the colonies. He said a dime would work just as well, but he would probably want a uh, pre-65 dime then when we back back when we had real money. I uh, this time the uh, 10 ounce bar I usually buy went on sale um, early one morning and uh, I was up I saw it the uh, Scottsdale stacker 10 ounce bar I saw it had gone on sale so I bought it real quick and then I sent a message to um, the stacking nerd and she made a video later that day I don't know if she saw my message or not she didn't make any reference to seeing my message but it was on uh, it was on her video that it was on sale so I got that coming in and the uh, the three wheat cents that uh, that I had on order or have been resent and um, somebody somebody commented on that when I was talk uh, when I was showing my uh, NGC coins he said uh, you called that a Lincoln cent it's not a Lincoln cent it's a wheat cent and I giggled so anyhow until either the bar comes in or the um, the three Lincoln Wheaties come in, I'm 1042.